AITA for not accommodating my brother's vegan fiancé? Full disclosure. I do eat meat, eggs, and dairy. That being said I'm lazy and prepping and cooking meat takes more work than I'm willing to do a lot of the time. So I've built up a pretty okay repertoire of vegetarian and vegan meals. That's why I volunteered to cook last night for a small family dinner even though I would normally never love my mom to bits but if the first step isn't browning a pound of ground beef, she's a little lost on what to make. This is all a thing because my brother has recently gotten engaged to a vegan woman. None of us have really spent a lot of time with her due to pandemics and generally having our own lives. The time I have spent with her has been perfectly nice. I'd thought this would also be perfectly nice. So I did my best. I put together a Dijon vinaigrette salad. Pasta tossed with roasted asparagus and cherry tomatoes. And because this is America where carb on carb doesn't have to be just a dream. Some bread I fucking vetted to make sure it didn't have milk or eggs in it. She could eat every single thing served. At least I thought so. We sit down. Plates are dished. She has questions. Whatever. Fair enough. I can imagine that she's been in situations where things seemed safe to eat but surprise. There's honey in the salad dressing or something. Reassurances are made. I did my homework but. Dot she has other complaints. You roasted the veggies in olive oil? There's olive oil in the salad dressing? The pasta isn't whole wheat? This is white bread? Yes. Vegan. All of it. But not stripped down to as few calories as possible. And now she won't eat. Just sat there and tore one of the rolls up into tiny pieces until the table was cleared. My brother texted me later that night about how fucked up it was that she had to go home hungry. And this is where I may be the asshole. I replied something in the effect of saying I thought I had to cook to accommodate veganism. Not an eating disorder. He told me to go fuck myself. Which again. Fair. Now I imagine a cold war is brewing and mom is inevitably going to get sucked in. I also could have tried to make something healthier. Though I don't think what was served was that bad. AITA? NTA. It seems rude that you cooked a vegan dinner and she didn't eat any of it. What is the problem with olive oil? NTA. You did accommodate her. You knew she had one dietary restriction. I.e. veganism. And you cooked everything vegan. Not just vegan options. Everything was vegan friendly. That's next level accommodation if you ask me. For the record. I'm a vegetarian and I'm used to bringing my own food or sticking to the salads available. I've never been to a non-vegetarian household where they make only vegetarian food to accommodate me. Nor do I expect them to. And if it were me I'd be thanking you for days. That's a really nice thing to do. Now. She has some other dietary restrictions that she didn't tell you about. And then apparently you're the off for not reading minds and just knowing without nobody telling you. That she has some other requirements for food. Like how does that even make sense to your brother? If I were you I'd be super passive aggressive and say something along the lines of, I'm so sorry I haven't upgraded my seer abilities yet and thus was unable to just guess your GF's food restrictions. I will let you know when I'm a full-on psychic so I can have all the information without anyone telling me. And then you'll be welcome in my house again. NTA 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 your GF is the biggest awe in your brother for enabling her and snapping at you when you were nothing but perfectly nice. Your NTA. His GF is out of line for going to a dinner without bringing her own food or explaining her dietary preferences ahead of time. They obviously should have hosted. Your brother is way 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 out of line for not reaching out to apologize to you for how the dinner went down. Sure. 
Your quip was irreverent but it was right and you didn't say it until your brother came at your like you did something wrong by cooking an entire vegan dinner to accommodate his boo. NTA. The brother's partner obviously is. But not because of her veganism. That's irrelevant. She's ta because she was rude and overly demanding expecting a home-cooked meal to be made with as few calories as possible. Did she even thank you for the effort of making a meal even if she decided she couldn't eat it? Your brother is also ta. Saying his partner had to go hungry is just utterly ridiculous. It's laughable. You made her a nice meal. She could have eaten it. It's not like the meal you made went against her morals. Which would be the case if you cooked her something non-vegan. She just didn't want to eat it. That's not your fault whatsoever. NTA. Your brother and his fiance are though. Your food sounds great. I'm a vegetarian and I'm always very grateful whenever anybody makes the effort to accommodate to me. I'd never turn my nose up at the dinner someone else has taken the time to cook for me. I detest broccoli with a passion. And have even forced myself to eat it before so that I don't appear rude. NTA I think it's highly likely she does have a eating disorder. If she's a picky eater she should have told you before dinner or bring her own food. You're not the asshole. Your brother's wife is the asshole here and your brother also is an asshole for entertaining her. Bratty behavior. What you made sounds very healthy. TBH when going to a dinner. Most vegan people are quite nervous because they think their diet won't be thought of. But you did think of her diet and made sure what you made was vegan plus there was tons of veggies involved in the meal so I'm quite surprised she was being so picky and actually I find that quite rude. If you're eating at someone else's home it's rude to pick at everything and be so fussy. Just eat goddammit and if you really are so fussy then stay at home. I feel annoyed for you that you're being made out to be the bad guy in this situation. NTA. You have been given a gift. You did your best. She refused to eat anything you cooked. You are now off the hook. And you can very honestly say, without malice, that your best is not good enough for her. So you never, ever in a thousand years have to cook for her again. You can return the favor if she ever offers to cook for you. NTA. You went to much effort to plan and create a vegan meal. And you did a great job. Your brother is off for not communicating to you all his fiancé's multitudinous food limitations. Which go beyond being merely being garden variety, vegan. TBH. I doubt your brother even knew some of her extreme biases before the meal. I guess he got a ear full. At least you've saved your mother the accusatory hysteria she would have received at maybe cooking tofu in the same pan she fried ground beef. NTA. God. Does she act that entitled everywhere she goes? You cooked a vegan meal. How were you to know the specifics of what she eats outside of veganism? Because she's clearly just being picky. Shame on you for not using your crystal ball that day. Granted your response wasn't polite. But still great emo. But there was no need for their dramatics. She didn't have to go home hungry. She chose to. Oil? There's olive oil in the salad dressing. WTF is wrong with olive oil? It s a healthy oil high monounsaturated fats which are good for your heart aren't they? This girlfriend is a nightmare. NTA. You. And your mother. Need to Svanbury firm on this one. You will not be cooking for her ever again. NTA. Your brother and his fiance sure are though. You went out of your way to make sure everything is vegan and they are sound good and yummy. If she is that strict with her diet, then she needs to bring her own meal. NTA. You did accommodate his vegan fiancé. 
You didn't accommodate his rude and bratty fiancé. The eating disorder comment was a dick move. Though I can see where it came from. And your brother blaming you for his fiancé not eating when you went to great effort to make a lovely vegan meal as whack. Leave them to their crazy. NTA. Vegan myself and I would be happy to eat what you made even if I ate, healthier, or a regular basis. Unless as some medical reason say couldn't eat that stuff. She and her brother are massive assholes. NTA. You did all you could to accommodate her. The issue definitely sits with her and she should understand that. If that's the diet and lifestyle you choose. You simply have to cut everyone else some slack. Otherwise. Bring your own food or suggest a meal that works. NTA. You made everything vegan. That's a lot more than other people. If she wants to reduce the calorie content she could just eat a small portion. I think she went to dinner expecting to be able to complain about not being accommodated because you dared to make a dish that had meat or dairy in it. When she couldn't complain about that she found something else to complain about. She sounds awful hopefully you don't have to spend too much time with her. NTA your brother's fiancé is being a pita and your bro is enabling her shitty behavior. You did nothing wrong emo. Oh my god. Your response was on point never cook for her again if she stays a part of your brother's life. Not that she will ever allow you to. Your meal sounded amazing. I would think the vast majority of vegans would have been absolutely delighted with what you served. There is a reason that. Tongue in cheek. Bon Appetit magazine replied what do you make for vegetarians? You make reservations. NTA. NTA you made a perfect vegan meal for her. She doesn't seem to have any allergies. And if you don't tell someone before. You can't expect to get catered for your wishes. And I think special occasion should let you be getting loose with your diet if you don't overdo it. And Ops dinner doesn't sound like it was really unhealthy. So, her comment with eating disorder probably really hit the spot. NTA. But what is wrong with your brother? He should have made something for his entitled GF if she was so hungry. He seemed to have had his dinner happily. And then being angry with you after heading back home. Wow. They are both the ta here. Next time there are any gathering where the GF is attending. Serve a plate of raw salad with no dressings and a huge jar of water. At least she won't leave empty stomach. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.